You don't even understand how we need to speak. And that's your dating. I mean, very, very good. I think you're irritating. Hello and welcome to another smartphone videography series with your favorite girl, Chisholm Belinda. So I've had lots of people ask me how they could clone themselves in the video without using the green screen. As you all know, I love to teach you how to use the green screen. Like I just love the green screen videos. They're amazing. They help you do a lot of things. But right here on this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself on a video. Mm, just like you have here. No, I'm just having tea. Okay. Uh, you always make me feel bad. Yeah. Is that what you think? Like you act like you don't know. Ah, let's just do it. Let's do it. Hey, you can go. Bye. <laughs> so i'm sure you enjoyed watching that video would you love to clone yourself on your video without using the green screen i mean in less than five minutes you're gonna get this all done it's very simple all you have to do is all you need is um your smartphone and then you need good lighting it could be your natural lighting which i love right now i'm using the natural lighting which is the sunlight i just threw open the windows and i'm using the light, natural lighting then your acting skills <laughs> and having your scene in your head you should be very creative know what you want to have on your video so your scene should already be in your head um what again do we need then you should have a tripod stand just, 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 or probably a stable yep. platform if you don't have a tripod stand make sure your phone is at a point don't move it throughout your shooting do not move your your camera like your camera should be stable don't move it at all very very important very very vital your lighting and your state the stability of your camera is very very important for this particular shoot your acting skill like i said said yourself your camera so i'm going to get right in this video i know i make all things very easy i'm going to show you how to edit this on the app called kind master it's very easy very simple fast tutorial this is not green screen videos where you have to have a lot of shooting so right here i can shoot right here this good lighting so all i need to do is <laughs> so let's go right to the um scenes i had to put together to get this video created i had two different scenes but i created in one long video which is this you're gonna be watching right now <laughs> you don't even understand how we need to speak and that's your dating i mean very very cute i think you're irritating And one thing you have to do is make sure you give space for each other so you do not like make sure um, you know what you're doing like with the spacing. And I could do something like one person. Now I can decide that the second person is on the other side so I come this way. I don't like. I hate you. So this is it. As you saw that, that was one long video. And to split the videos, I love to use my phone's default edits. Um, so I'll just come to the video, which is, this is my gallery. This is the video. I'll click on edit so i'm gonna be splitting i'm gonna be getting getting out the first part of the video which stops somewhere here and starts from somewhere here so okay then when i get this i'm going to do done i'm going to save video as new clip and video saves right on my device 
then as a new clip so i'll be doing that for the both videos until i have the two videos split into two so can you see this is one part then i'm going to do that for the second one on that same video so that i get the till i have the two parts split into two then once i'm done i'll get right to my kind master up this is my kind master up here click on my kind master up in case you didn't split it on your default browser on your default setting you could equally do it on the kind master app which i'm going to be showing right away so i'm going to click on plus i'm going to click on the format i want like just click on the whichever um um size you want video size you want so i'm just going to use this using nine anyways i'll use 16 is to nine i'm going to go to media then i'm going to go to it's already in video i'll go to all videos where is my video so this is my video this is a complete video so i'm going to act like i did not trim using my browser for people using my phone's default setting so for people who probably don't have that on their own phones you could still do it so can you say this is the whole video so i'm going to come here to trim i'm going to click on the video and i'm going to move 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 so i wanted to start from here when i'm balanced so i'm going to click on trim and split and then i'm going to trim to the left head then i'm going to go back again to get to the end of the video which is somewhere here somewhere here mm -hmm. then i'm going to trim to right play head perfect so i'm going to come back to the beginning of the video come back to the beginning go to layer go to layer now you're bringing in the same video but this time around as layer click on media did you see what i did let me go back so i'll go to layer media go to it's already on video so i'm going to all videos go to the video again so this time around i am trying i'm going to scroll back because i'm going trying to get to the point where the second part started from okay just keep looking at it down so it's somewhere here so i'm going to click on here trim to left play here then i'm going to move my video did you see what i, I held the video down and moved I'm moving it to the very beginning beautiful so watch do you still need to split something else yes the video has not yet started so this is where i want so i'm going to still go click on this i have a video on where i thought about kind master you can see it in the description though but this is enough if this is what you're looking for want to do trim to left play here just keep doing the trims until you get it right and i'm going to hold it down move it so let's see what do i have mm -hmm. then okay okay so once i have that i'm going to click on the video overlay and then i'm going to use my two fingers to zoom it out to fit to the size of the screen exactly beautiful what next i'm going to go to this icon because i want to see the other video underneath right called split screen click on it and since my the, the overlay video is the one i'm on the left hand side i'm going to click on this did you see what happened click on good now can you see it's not properly adjusted how do i get it to be nice i'll click on the video and then i'll move it using these two arrows here let's see oh can i get so what we can get click on good let's see let's play the video mm. <laughs> That's as easy, easy, easy as A, B, C, D. Do you say we got this right? Beautiful. So just, so just in case the talk does not match up with the scene, remember you can always adjust from here, move it till it meets up. Like let them be on the same plane. Let them be on the same plane. Good. Let them be on the same plane. So once you have your video all done, look at it. I'm sure you can see it's very easy. You click right here and 
then you save your video remember you can ex then you export remember you can adjust it till it fits what you want like it fits make sure the um your drama and whatever syncs together okay so another easier method is using the um crop option so i'm gonna go to plus i'm gonna pick this icon now there's there's uh, an advantage of using the crop option i'll show you go to media oh now i'm gonna pick the same video because i don't have the original good so now you see this is the one full video so i want to zoom out zoom in so that i don't have the kind master watermark so i'm going to click on the video go to pan and zoom click on the pro equal to sign here then you zoom in i'm avoiding the kind master um watermark so i can crop it out when i'm done totally click on good then i'm going to bring in the same video i've already edited it before i'm going to bring it in now you're talking of the two videos the two two sides go to layer and go to media all bring in the same video since i've deleted the original so you see it i'm going to bring it down the crop option is really easy bring it down make sure you zoom it out to be the same size with the previous video behind good so once you've done that click on good then you click on the layered video go to cropping from cropping you click on the mask then you move i'm cropping it right away good let's stop here now look at it click on good there are two videos now let's go did you notice from the beginning something moved so it means it's not accurate so i'll do something i'll move it to start at the same time now let's go it's actually accurate right now so this is the second method which is easier and helps you to avoid the kind master watermark after you must have cropped as an edited like after you must have uh this is the second style after you must have um cut the two videos in two parts as i showed you in the first um way to do this so you just place one on top of one and you use the crop that's the difference it's obviously in the trim it's obviously in the um what they call it split screen you're using the crop this time around and you're using the crop because you have reduced the video to avoid the watermark then you say that's all through all my tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and see you on my next tutorial remember to drop a comment like this video share this video with your friends who will love to see this and tell me what you want to learn in my next video right in the comment section let me know what you would love to learn and if it's something i've shot about i'll direct it to the video but if i need to shoot a new video on that i'm sure if i get more people who have who have, have asked for it just like this video which has been which so many people have asked for I'll shoot, of course. It's interesting to always bring to you my creativity. I mean, I enjoy putting it together. So, see you on my next video. I love you so much. I still remain Chison Belinda, your very smartphone videographer. I'm just creative on my smartphone. It's interesting. <laughs>